Namaste and hello. I'm Padma Kupa, and I'm honored to represent the 41st District in the Michigan State House, which includes the cities of Troy and Clawson. Troy, Michigan, where I have lived for more than 20 years, has a huge population of immigrants from all over the world. The largest minority population is the Indian immigrant community, although most aren't voters. Nearly 30% of Troy is foreign born like me, and many of us are Asian American. Prior to becoming a lawmaker, I had been an active volunteer in the public schools working to undo racial bias and religious misconceptions, especially anti-South Asian bias since 9-11-2001. I started an interfaith organization in 2005 to build interreligious understanding and in 2010 joined HAF's efforts to counter anti-Hindu bias. Most recently, I've had to fight for constituents who have faced microaggressions and anti-Asian hate due to language used by many elected officials to describe the coronavirus. While our biggest challenge remains the unwillingness or inability of people to report hate crimes or ask for bias instance to be addressed, our biggest strength has been in lifting the voices of those who have faced discrimination and ensuring that those voices are heard. And also there is the joy of finding allies whose support has lifted my own voice. I have partnered with my fellow APA legislative colleagues and allies in the legislature and our attorney general's office to hold hate crime awareness town halls for the APA community, written op-eds and simply involved Asian Americans in all levels of my constituent engagement. Working closely with community organizations to disseminate information from the FBI, local police, and the Michigan Department of Civil Rights, I continue to push people to engage at the grassroots, serve on municipal boards and local nonprofits, particularly in partnership with organizations that are focused on advocating for Asian American and South Asian American communities, because representation matters. With other lawmakers, I have introduced legislation to recognize Diwali, Vaisakhi, Eid, Lunar New Year at the state level, and to create a scholarship program to recruit and add diversity to our police force. From our Attorney General, Dana Nessel, to our local police chiefs, we've made educating the community and law enforcement a priority. Hindu American Foundation National Leadership Council member Fred Stella, a fellow Hindu here in Grand Rapids, who is involved in interfaith efforts, was part of a diversity training program for Michigan State Police. I remember being teased with the epithet dothead as a fourth grader, being singled out by my teacher in ninth grade to identify what caste I am from, when I know it's your actions that define your role in the world. When you're otherized because of your identity, you learn to be involved. I even saw my children belittled. My then eight-year-old daughter was ridiculed with mooing sounds about worshiping cows, singled out and then excluded from activities at December holiday parties, and even told she was going to hell because she worshiped a different God. I could go on about caste, cows, and karma edition of Hinduism we were all taught in school. I volunteered with HAF and eventually became a board member to address the bias in our textbooks and worked to educate others. Beyond the typical stereotypes about Hindus, so many young people are now coming to me about a new type of bias, how self-identifying as a Hindu automatically puts a Hindu nationalist label on them. I have been facing down that label since I enter, entered the interfaith arena, something which has gotten even worse since I entered the political arena. As the first and only Hindu in the Michigan legislature, I hope that speaking today on this sensitive topic and important topic helps other Hindus and Asian Americans of all backgrounds to stand tall, to resist bias and bullying, and for all of us to work together to stop hate, whether it's against Hindus, against Asian Pacific Americans, or against anyone who is the other. Representation matters. Words matter. Our actions against bullying and bias matter. Our children deserve better if they are to grow into successful, strong adults 
living in a multicultural, multi-religious civil society. That is America's promise. Thank you for joining us this evening.